We are here at CUB's Yatala Brewery, located in southeast Queensland. CUB's Yatala Brewery has been recognised as SAB Miller's best performer in water usage. The plant currently has a water usage of 2.3 litres of water per litre of beer produced, which is considered world's best practice. This achievement has been the result of over a decade of water conservation initiatives, underpinned by a culture of water use minimisation. Today we are talking to Charlie Foxall, Health, Safety and Environment Manager at CUB's Yatla Brewery. Charlie, can you please tell us a little bit about Yatla Brewery? OK, Amy. Well, the, the Yatla Brewery is situated halfway between Brisbane and the Gold Coast in uh, southeast Queensland. The factory's been here since about 1988, and uh, when we started brewing, we're just a tiny little brewery. We only made about 25 million litres of beer a year. And uh, we've expanded over time to uh, where we are at present, where we produce about a quarter of the beer that's drunk in Australia. We produce VB, Colton Draft, um, Pure Blonde and, of course, Crown Lager here. Why is water usage so important at Yatla Brewery? Australia is actually the driest inhabitant continent in the world. And particularly in southeast Queensland, recently we've been in an extremely severe drought. So we were under drought here for over seven years, starting about 1999. But prior to that, we've been very, we've been concentrating on water usage at Yatla purely for economic reasons. And we've been able to re reduce our costs by managing our water usage and our trade based discharge. Can you please tell us where water is currently being used besides in the beer? Well, obviously, if you're going to make a litre of beer, you're going to use a litre of water for the beer. But other than that, you also need it in cooling towers, we need it in boilers, we need it for clean in place systems, pasteurisation, floor washing, amenities, a whole lot of other uses. How has water usage changed over time? Well, originally, when we first built the brewery, we were using about six litres of water to make a litre of beer. And it might sound a lot in today's time, but you've got to bear in mind that some breweries use anything up to 20 litres to do that. Um, in 1993, when we doubled the capacity of the plant, when CUV bought into the business, uh, we actually had to install our own trade waste plant because the local council couldn't handle the extra trade waste that we were producing. So we've been treating our, our trade waste since that time. As we've got more and more uh, capacity through the plant, we've had to improve our water efficiency to ensure that we didn't overload our trade waste plant. In 2005, when we doubled the size of the plant again, we were able to take advantage of modern technologies to install a water recycling system that allowed us to become, where we are at present, the most water efficient brewery in the world. What we do is essentially take all of our trade waste and recycle it. We put it through a treatment process that removes all of the biological contaminants using anaerobic and aerobic treatment. We then put it through filtration processes to remove all of the physical contaminants, reverse osmosis to remove salts, we treat it with ultraviolet um, radiation and uh, chlorine and that then results in a product that's purer than Brisbane water and we've been able to recycle an average of 1.3 million litres a day in, over the last seven years. How is the recovered water used? We use the water in most of the processes to put it down the drain in the first place, predominantly cooling towers, boilers, CIP systems, pasteurisation and floor washing. We don't use it in product. Um, there's no reason why we couldn't, incidentally, but it's basically a perceptual issue that there are problems with that. Aside from water recycling, what else has contributed to water usage results? Mostly our workforce. They uh, have been concentrating on eliminating waste. Um, the first thing you do is start making sure that you turn off taps and don't leave those sort of things running. We've modified our pasteurisers so that they're more water efficient. We spend a great deal of attention to our clean in place systems to make sure that they optimise the use of water. Um, using those processes, we were able to get down to about three to three and a half litres of water per litre of beer prior to the recycling process. So how has the water conservation been received by the local community? We've been fortunate enough to be well recognised by the local community. We uh, received the 2005 Sustainable Industries Award from the EPA, and we've actually sponsored that segment of that award um, program ever since. Um, local Gold Coast City Council um, has acknowledged our efforts. And they, if you go into the EPA offices in town at the moment, you'll find CUB flags saying that these are the best examples of sustainable industry in the southeast corner of Queensland. Also been featured in press articles and magazine articles. And um, members of our uh, team have been able to present at conferences, giving the uh, benefits that we've been able to achieve. Thank you for your time, Charlie. Cheers.